Still wasting hours designing UI from scratch? Struggling with wireframes, workflows, and endless edits? What if you could build stunning, interactive web and app designs in minutes using just a prompt or a screenshot? Meet Sketchflow AI, your all-in-one AI-powered design assistant. From blueprint prompts to snap design and ready-made templates, it's faster, smarter, and incredibly easy. Stick around, I'll show you how to go from idea to interactive prototype in just a few clicks. This is Parvez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. First, type sketchflow.ai. Hit enter and you'll land on the homepage of this powerful design platform. Here, you can design and generate interactive web and app prototypes with the help of AI. Just enter a prompt and Sketchflow will turn your vision into a high-quality product design in seconds. You can instantly visualize your app's main journey using crystal-clear workflows similar to mind maps. This helps you keep track of your design logic with ease. With Sketchflow, you go from concept to interactive prototype faster than ever. Whether you're working on a website or a mobile app, this AI tool makes the process effortless and collaborative. Now let's talk about the two primary ways to create. Blueprint, where you generate designs directly from a text prompt. Snap Design, where you can create designs from screenshots. You can design for every screen type, web, mobile, tablet, or desktop, all in one place. No need for multiple tools. Sketchflow also comes with a library of diverse templates and popular styles like light mode, dark mode, and more. You'll be able to use these to jumpstart your project or customize it to match your brand. Let's move to the sign-up process. You can create an account using Google, Facebook, or other available options. I'll sign in using Google. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the main Sketchflow dashboard. Here, you'll see three creation options. Blueprint, design from text prompts, snap design, design from screenshots, templates, start with a ready-made layout. Let's begin with the blueprint option. This lets you design from scratch using a detailed text prompt. First, choose your device type, web, mobile, tablet, or desktop, and then select your desired screen resolution. Now enter your prompt. For example, I'm using the following. I want to create a full, modern, intelligent, and AI-powered productivity platform. This platform is designed for professionals and remote teams to streamline their workflow using automation, collaboration tools, and progress tracking features, powered entirely by AI. And this, the full project overview. Once your prompt is ready, click on Generate Design. And within seconds, your full design and workflow will be generated by AI. A workflow is a visual sequence of connected nodes that automate tasks or define a digital process step by step. Here, you can edit any node or element, duplicate or delete nodes, add new workflows with just a click, add or edit descriptions for better clarity. If everything looks good, click Generate All Screens to produce the complete UI. Next, you'll be asked to choose a style. You can select from various visual styles to match your brand or theme. If needed, you can also remove the description style and Sketchflow AI will apply one based on your original prompt. Now, click Generate Interface and Sketchflow will start generating your design that you can preview, edit, or export. Once your design is ready, you'll find all its pages neatly listed on the left side of the dashboard. Simply click on any page to open and view it in full. Let's say you want to edit something like the title or description. You can easily do that by clicking on the text and typing your new content. To regenerate the page with your updated content, just click the Regenerate button. Sketchflow will recreate the page while keeping your changes intact. Need to update the button text? Click on the button and you'll instantly see the option to edit it. You can also move elements up or down or even shift them left or right. The design updates in real time as you make changes. Want to duplicate a tile? 
Just click on the copy icon and it will create a duplicate that you can customize further, like changing its title, content, or even logo. To change a logo or visual element, simply click on it and edit the corresponding description. The interface makes it easy to personalize each component. Now, if your page doesn't include images by default, you can generate AI images right from the platform. Click Generate Image for Current Page to add visuals to just one screen, or use Generate Images for All Pages to populate your entire design with relevant images based on your content. The images are automatically matched to your design and are fully customizable. If you don't like one, click Regenerate to get a new version instantly. Want to change the overall theme? Head over to the Styles section, click Choose a Style, and you'll see a list of pre-designed themes. You can apply a theme to just the current page or all pages at once. Within seconds, your entire design will be updated with the new theme. Everything from colors to UI elements will refresh to match the selected style. Once you're happy with the design, click Preview to see how it looks and feels in real time. This isn't just a static prototype, it's fully interactive and responsive. Now, if we want to share it, let's say you're working with a team. Go to the Share section to collaborate. You can share a view-only link or enable import permissions so your teammates can edit it too. Simply enter an email address or copy the shareable link, and you're ready to collaborate. Want to export your design? Click on Export and you'll have two options. Sketch file to continue editing in tools like Sketch or Figma, HTML demo package to download a functional web prototype. Choose your Perform option, hit Confirm Export, and the files will be saved to your computer. Now let's explore Snap Design, another powerful feature in Sketchflow. This option allows you to create a full UI design using just a screenshot. To get started, select your device type and screen resolution. Upload a screenshot of the design you want to replicate. Add a description to guide the AI in refining the layout and style. Now let's upload a screenshot. You'll need to describe what you want the design to look like. For example, you can type, make a video editing portfolio website similar to this image. Once your description is ready, click on Generate Design, and Sketchflow will begin building your layout using both the screenshot and your prompt. At first glance, you might notice that the structure looks similar to the screenshot, but the images might be missing. No worries, just click on Provide Pictures for All Pages, and the AI will generate relevant images based on your prompt and description. Within seconds, your design becomes more complete, attractive, and professional. If you'd like to change any image, simply click on it and choose Regenerate. Sketchflow will replace it with a new one that better matches your description. When you're happy with the results, you can share or export the project. The process is exactly the same as we discussed earlier. Now let's talk about creating a design using templates. Head over to the Template Library, where you'll find a collection of pre-made UI templates, from landing pages to dashboards and more. Choose the one that fits your needs. For example, I'll select this design here. You'll first see its workflow view, showing the structure and flow of the design. Click Design Interface to explore how the actual interface looks. If it suits your project, click on Copy to My Project and the template will be added to your workspace. Now you can customize it just like any other design. Edit the workflow structure, change titles, descriptions, buttons, and layouts in the design interface. Move elements up or down, left or right. Copy components and tweak them for your own use. You can also apply a different visual style by going to the Choose a Style section. And once you're ready, you can preview, share, or export the design exactly as we covered before. Everything stays simple and intuitive. Now let's talk about pricing. Yes, you can use Sketchflow AI for free, but there are a few limitations in the free version. In the free mode, you can explore most of the core features, test the workflow tools, and generate a limited number of AI pages. It's perfect for checking out how powerful this platform is. But if you want complete creative freedom, it's worth checking out the Plus plan. There are two payment options, monthly and yearly. I personally recommend the yearly plan because it gives you the best value. You'll save around $24 per year compared to the monthly subscription. So what do you get with Sketchflow Plus? Unlimited projects, unlimited image generations, 
access to over 70 AI-generated pages per month, full access to premium styles, templates, and export options, and many advanced features only available in the paid tier. If you're serious about product design, prototyping, or running a design-focused team, the Plus version is definitely worth it. You can design a complete web or app prototype using a prompt with blueprint, a screenshot with snap design, or ready-made templates for faster results. It's fast, smart, and perfect for creators, developers, and teams. You'll find the link to Sketchflow in the description below. Feel free to try it out. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to stay updated with future AI design tools and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.